What's up guys, Justin here with thecgessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna to try to get caught up on some new add-ons as well as some updates to some existing add-ons that we've talked about on the channel before. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so first off, we've got real wood textures from the guys of our B Production. B Production has brought us like the vegetation add-on, they have a cars add-on, as well as um, a bunch of other add-ons having to do with plants and that kind of thing. They've just rolled out a new collection of wood textures. Um, and you can get these in Blender Market. By the way, I'm gonna link to everything in this video in the notes down below. And so you can get this for 25% off um, with the code REALWOOD25. But basically what this is, is this is a wood veneer library tool for Blender. Basically what it is, is it's a texture collection. So it works inside of the asset browser. And these are basically set up as wood textures. And it's got a ton of different wood textures in here and they're all really high quality. So you can download anything from 2K K through 8K. Um, I try to keep the stuff that I'm using in my videos kind of light, so I'm using the 2K right now, but you can get up to 8K in order to get some uh, real significant high resolution looks. Now, one of the cool things about this is the shader has the ability to adjust between different wood finishes. So you can use the raw, satin, glossy, um, oiled, or waxed, and you can use the slider in the shader in order to do that. Now, I may do a more in-depth um, video about this in the future, but if we take a look at it inside of Blender, what it's gonna do is you're gonna have all of these different wood materials, and notice how you do have a pretty decent library of these, um, and they all do look really good when I take a look at these. But if you jump over into the shader editor for each one of these, right, you've got your shader in here. And so it's got the it's got the maps applied to it. So you get this nice kind of like bumpy look, which you can adjust, by the way, you can adjust all of this. You can adjust the strength of the bump um, as well as the roughness value in order to set how much these are going to reflect other things like that. But then down at the bottom, that's where you can find these options for things like varnish. Or um, if you don't want the varnish, you could use like the waxed. And notice how that's changing the way that this looks. So you can use this in order to get those different looks for your woods, depending on what you're trying to do. So this oil look is obviously going to look different than the satin look right here. But all of those sliders are built in and you can adjust them really easily inside of this tool. All right, so Sanctus Library has been updated with even more materials. I think this is kind of getting updated about monthly now, um, but note that you can get Sanctus Library right now using the code um, SL1YEAR. Um, you can get 30% off of this particular library. And so Sanctus Library already had a ton of awesome procedural materials, but he just keeps adding to them. So he's added some fun stuff like this procedural ice cream, as well as the alien skin, um, the anti-slip, the plaster wall, um, just a ton of different materials and they're kind of updating monthly. So um, he's a lot of fun to follow on Twitter too, because he shows some great examples of how he's using these. Um, but if you're looking for more of a procedural rather than a PBR based methodology, this could be a great tool set for that. So I will link to Sanctus Library in the notes down below. All right, so the guys over at Polygonic um, have just released the newest version of their botanic add-in. So remember that this is their tree and grass add-on and um, they've updated this version um, in order to basically allow you to animate everything. So basically what they've done is they've added animations to all of their different, uh, all their different assets. Remember that botanic has the ability to add those animations. It's also got other tools in here for doing things like populating or, um, or scattering along surfaces as well. Um, so it's got a ton of different tools in here for creating those vegetations inside of your scenes. And you can see um, all of the plants and other things that are contained inside of that by going to their Blender Market page, which I will link to in the notes down below. So one other thing to note is you can use the coupon code PQFLASH33 to get 33% off on all of their add-ons, in including Botanic through February 12th. So if you wanna get a discount on this, uh, this could be a good time to do that. All right, so next up, we've got a really interesting add-on that I hadn't really thought about before, but it actually makes a ton of sense. It's called Pictory. Um, it's basically a picture factory. And what it does is it's a tool that allows you to add pictures um, inside a blender. Now it's really interesting because it gives you a lot of different options for different kinds of things you can create as well as different customization options. And it's really easy to use. So all you have to do is just install it, click on new picture, and I'm gonna move it out a little bit so that you can actually see it on my wall. But you can adjust things like your frame width 
as well as your frame height. The cool thing about this is your picture can actually um, scale along with this. So it's actually filling that in and allowing you to really quickly create this picture right here. Um, you can also adjust the frame. So if you want it to be a wood frame, you can use a wood frame with a different color like this, or there's a ton of other options in here as well. So like gold, silver, um, other things like that. So this is a great way to really quickly generate these things. Um, one, one other thing that's cool with this is you can come in here and you can adjust the molding. So for example, if you wanted this to move down, for example, or maybe out a little bit, you could also insert some different points and other things like that. You can adjust this really easily using this edit function. So I could also like scale this if I wanted to do that, but then you can end the editing and it's going to have automatically adjusted the molding in here. Now, the other thing that's really cool about this, um, I mean, depending on uh, how you come down on this whole thing, is you can add local pictures from your computer or it can also generate AI art to place in here. So for example, let's say I was to type in like starry night like this and do a search. What it's gonna do is it's gonna find a series of images that you can place in here like this. So, um, and then you can take those and you can place them inside of your picture. So if you don't wanna go find different pictures for your pictures on the wall, you can use this to actually generate those really quickly for your backgrounds. So I'll link to Pictory in the notes down below. So we've talked about Curvify before. It's the new geometry nodes add-on from CG Matter, and he's been hard at work adding additional things to Curvify. And so he's added a number of different things like brick walls, which you can adjust things like the size of bricks. We've got things like caution tape, and you can adjust the color of the caution tape. So we've got the hedge, which is basically repeating a leaf. You wanna be a little bit careful with this one because um, it does get a little bit heavy, but it is just repeating that leaf over and over again. So you can use that in order to quickly generate a hedge. And then we've got the stitches, which you can use in order to procedurally add stitches to an object like this. So you could use it for a lot of different things. You could use it for fabric, other things like that. Again, those are adjustable as well. You can set the frequency, the thickness of the stitches, other things like that. So tons of interesting stuff being added to Curvify right now if you're into geometry node or procedural tools. All right, so next up, you may remember that we've worked with RBD Lab in the past. RBD Lab was a tool specifically designed to help you with setting up physics inside of Blender. They've just released a new add-on called VDB Lab. And basically what VDB Lab is, is it's a tool designed to help you generate and create um, shock waves and explosions and other things like that. So it basically walks you through the tool set for creating explosions. So um, it, it does kind of what RBD Lab did in the sense that um, it kind of breaks everything up into steps. Now this is something I need to get more into in the future um, because because honestly, I haven't quite 100% figured out the whole thing. And so basically what it does is the same thing that RBD Lab did with physics, but basically what it does is it um, gives you a set of steps that you can follow in order to create things um, having to do with your explosions, right? So you've got like the emitter shape. So you've got this setup where it can be in like a sphere. Um, you've got it where it can um, shoot out different trails, other things like that. So you can kind of see that previewed right here, but then you walk through the rest of this and it um, helps you set up things like your shading as well as the domain that this is gonna be in for rendering. Now this is something where they do have a user guide right now. And so they've also like very recently, like two days ago, just added a tutorial for creating a gas explosion inside of VDB Lab, which I haven't had a chance to watch yet, um, but I'm excited to find out a little bit more about how to use this add-on. So if you are trying to create explosions and other things in Blender, VDB Lab might be the tool that you've been looking for. All right, and then finally, the other updated add-on from B Production is Forestation. And um, he's just released version two of Forestation in here. There's, these are his high quality 3D scanned trees. Um, so these have like the micro displacement and other things like that. And so so basically what this is, is this has added some additional scan trees as well as giving you the ability to set where the assets are saved. So um, that tree library has gotten larger and um, these are intended to be the more like high resolution trees that are in here. So they have the base as well as the micro displacement in order to try to generate that more realistic trunk look in here. So um, if you're looking for some super high resolution trees, uh, you might want to give Forestation a try. All right, so last minute edition, I haven't even had a chance 
to get this one uh, downloaded and tested yet, but this is a new add-on from the developer of Simply Cloth. So we've talked about Simply Cloth. He has other tools in here as well, his uh, Simply Concept, Simply Wrap. Um, we've talked about some of these in, on the channel in the past, and he's got a new add-on called Simply Material. And basically what Simply Material is, is it's an add-on designed to help you generate clothing and fabric textures. And so what it does, and again, I'm gonna note that I haven't had a chance to get this loaded up on my computer yet, but basically what it does is it gives you the ability to generate textures um, using different patterns. So you can actually use this in order to create like cloth patterns and other things like that, or cloth textures. Um, it's got the ability to create a ton of different kinds of textures. So it's got things like you can make things look a little more fuzzy or you can make things look a little dirty, other things like that. So the whole point of this particular add-on is to help you generate those different textures that you might use on cloth or clothes. So this is something I definitely want to get into more as well because it looks super interesting to me. And so the developer actually has a super long tutorial video, like super in-depth, that talks you through how to use the tool. So um, he gives you instructions on how to create different kinds of cloths. So like for example, he's got um, he's got kind of the base texture, he's got his micro texturing workflow in here, but then he's also got some more specific textures. So like for example, he's got a tutorial teaching you how to create like a velvet material inside of the add-on um, using the different patterns that come along with this. Um, in addition, he's also um, giving you the ability to add like the little fuzz pieces coming off of something. So if you need it to be fuzzier, um, there's an option in here to do that. So just a ton of stuff that's in here. And so there are a number of textures that are ready to use in here um, that come along with this. And he does note that he is going to be adding some additional textures um, for free in the future if you do purchase this add-on. So um, it looks like you will get those future updates. One thing to note about that, and you may want to scroll down and just read this yourself. Um, so you can use the included textures in your projects for commercial use but if you try to do anything with reselling or editing them um, it's not licensed for that you would need a different commercial use for that and so you're going to want to read this yourself but the way i'm reading this anything you create like with a model um, you can use and sell those models without the full commercial use license um, however if you want to resell the textures there's a different commercial license that you're going to need so that may be something you may want to discuss a little bit more with the developer if it's a big deal to you. Um, the way I'm understanding it though, if you're just using this on models, you shouldn't have any issues with the license. So uh, leave a comment below. Let me know if this is something you'd like me to talk about more in the future. All right, so leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about any of these add-ons. Um, if there's anything you'd like to see anything more in depth on, I definitely want to get into VDB Lab some more. Um, I'm going to take a look at those real wood textures a little bit more in depth as well, because I think those look pretty good and I'm excited to see what I can do with those. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Links to all of these add-ons are in the notes below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.